Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, AZ, and I'm back at this again. Once again, guys, with another video for y'all. And as you can see, by today's video, today I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Bleaching and dyeing my hair. And as you guys can see as well, I'm bold. I have very little to no hair on the side. Obviously, I have a skin fade, and then the top part is like like hair wear we don't who we don't know how. um this was not planned okay let me just say when i went to the barber shop my barber like the actual guy that does my hair said to go to that guy and that guy clearly didn't know what to do because this is not what i asked for but but it's cool because there's nothing i can do about it now and i've actually grown to like it it is really short i've never ever 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 have my head this short on the top? Obviously, the hairs I had before already has skin fade, but never this short on the top. But you know what? It's alright. I'm still gonna dye it. I'm still gonna bleach it. I'm still gonna look like what's supposed to be. So it's alright. So without further ado, let's get straight on to the video. Okay, guys, you guys already know the process. Okay, I've done this before. This is part two. You guys already know brush bowl. High power lifting bleach. Now I bought this um power lifting bleach with the peroxide. It's hard to focus because everything in my bathroom is so white. The lighting is like really bright. But yeah, I bought these two, but I don't think this is gonna be enough. Okay, to do my whole head. So I'm just gonna use this power lifting bleach with this instead. And I don't even have a lot of this left, so in case I run out of this, I have the one liter version here as well and i am using 30 volume which honestly i actually regret because when i asked the lady in the shop she said that i should use 20 volume because 30 volume damages your hair and it really does i should go for 20 volume because i'm gonna put dye over it anyways and i don't need my hair to be bright 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 blonde so my hair's just gonna be damaged for no reason i really should go the 20 volume instead but it's all right i'm still gonna use the 30 volume and this was literally teeny you know, so i'm probably just gonna go back and buy the 20 volume anyways um i'm probably giving this away to somebody else because this damages my hair so much that like last time i did this my hair was so dry but yeah it's all right we live and we learn gloves oh my gosh gloves are so important okay i was bleaching my wig like yesterday or the day before somewhere around there and insert a video of what your hands look like okay when you didn't use gloves my skin is like perfectly fine now like my hands are back to normal it literally went back to normal in about an hour but guys just wear gloves okay do it don't just stay black me guys okay guys so i actually put the lock on like for the brightness so now the camera like won't keep focusing and making shit go right um but i have my mirror here which is what i'm obviously going to use to look at myself um but yeah so first of all jelly okay because when i did this last time technically i didn't even need this to like dye my hair you know, but i don't i don't want the bleach you know getting on my hairline and stuff so i'm just gonna take some jelly and put this on i did not do it last time and my edges like here were all burning um and i got dye on them and it wasn't cute so this time let's be smart so now i'm actually going to mix my high power lift bleach and develop it when it comes to doing this step honestly i just i just wing it okay i just squeeze and mix until it's the toothpaste like consistency that i like honestly not much to it i literally can't tell you how to do it just do it until it's the consistency you want simple okay guys i have my powder um i actually had to end up mixing it using this one as well because i put too much of this by accident okay guys so i'm gonna start applying it and i'm not necessarily gonna use the brush the whole time you really don't need to use a brush when your hair's as short as mine if you have gloves that fit oh my gosh but yeah guys just put this right on roots first and stuff basically my whole entire head is root okay because my hair is so short i don't really have roots obviously the side is a skin fade but 
I don't really think it's gonna make that much of a difference because my hair is actually so short. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it on. It's already beginning to bleach. Like, can you see that? So at this point, it's literally like bleaching so effing quickly and I haven't even wrapped it or anything. I'm taking off my gloves, I'm going to clean my ears and clean like parts of my hand that have bleach on it. Um, and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. Um, I'll try and show you the back. I know it's on my neck. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I really hope you can, but this is what it looks like at the back. Alright. So now I'm going to wash it out and we'll be back to see if I need to do like a second go or whether I can just go straight into dyeing it. Okay guys, I have not looked <sighs> at what it looks like. I just tried to make sure that I got as much bleach as possible. Oh my gosh, I can see it. Okay, there's still... <sighs> okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's definitely effing blonde. <laughs> it worked. I think it worked pretty well. Really well. I don't know if it could have gone any better. I mean, there's definitely some black hairs in there. I don't think you'll be able to see that. Can you see that? Okay, first of all, this comb has like dried bleach in it, but there's some, there's a few black hairs in there, but you won't be able to see that when I actually like um diet but my scalp is like it's like stained blue um like it's actually not there like if i scratch like there's nothing like it's it's just blue ish which is scary because it makes me think that there's bleach there but there isn't so i don't know what the back looks like so let me turn around again so you guys can see the back okay so this is the back Again, I don't know how much of this you can see, but this is what the back looks like. Um, feels normal, feels fine. I don't know if it looks fine, um, but yeah. Okay guys, now that that curtain is gone, now that my hair is dry down a bit, we are ready to put on the color. I'm actually tempted to leave it like this. The only thing that's actually stopping me from leaving it like this is because the blonde is patchy. Like, patch, 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 patch 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 this is patchy because of the color i'm doing you're not gonna be able to tell by the time i put all the dance with it it's just gonna all blend in because i'm doing orange now this is the color 72 paprika i don't know why i'm saying 72 like there's different shades of paprika excuse me it's just paprika this is the door dye it's the same one that i use same brand that i used when i did the red which was really pink. But yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just going to put this on. This is really easy to do. I do need to wear gloves again. Because this will really stain my hands. And I need to reapply my gel. It's not gel. What? My uh, petroleum jelly around my edges. Because I don't want orange edges. Um, as for the back, I'm not going to gel the back. It's petroleum jelly. I can't be asked. Um, so hopefully nobody looks at the back. Um, but I will put it on the front. Okay, so that's on that. We're gonna apply the color. Oh, I need to put my gloves okay, on. Okay, so I experimented on my hand here with my colors. I mixed um the old one I used before, which is the pink, with the orange. And I don't know why I thought I was gonna get some exotic color, but I got red, and this looks like blood. So, no, let's just do the orange in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it looks like. Look at that. Ooh, it's black. It's really black. Okay. going all one last time and like saturate it so that there's like 
you know more dye on it you probably don't need to use this much but um i really only do each color once so just go in and saturate my whole entire head like this with it making sure that every single little blonde piece is covered because the last thing you want is like blonde bits all throughout and you can actually comb this through your hair um at this point but um i don't need to because my hair is so short so yeah Okay guys, when well, I'm back, the lighting is uh, because the sun is out, so it's making me look dark. So, uh, I went to eat because I was hungry. It's 3 o'clock now. But this is what it looks like. I haven't even washed it out yet. I've literally had this in my head for like over an hour. Let's feed my face. I need to wash this out, so I'm going to go ahead and wash it out. And then I'll probably like even do my makeup and get glam and then come back and show you the final result. Hello? Okay. Needless to say, that didn't happen, but that was done on Tuesday, okay. Uh, my nose piercing came out when I was cleaning it, so no nose piercing until July. Um, unless I make a very impulsive decision that I'll probably end up doing. We're not going to talk about it, so yeah. But it's been a week now, today's Wednesday, that was Thursday, this is my hair. This is what it looks like, um... I mean, yeah, it looks pretty much the same as when it was when I hadn't washed it out. Um, but I mean, yeah, this is what it looks like. But yeah, that's actually it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>